The Asian Openbill is one of six species of storks which have bred in Thailand and the only one still found in any numbers. Like most of the country's water birds, the storks have suffered from habitat losses, hunting and disturbance. A paper on Thailand's larger water birds by ornithologists Phil Round, Babfa Amget, Jira Jinta Nugol and Utai Trisukon makes for mostly gloomy reading. Once common in the central plains and in the marshes of the peninsula, they write of the painted stork, the Thai breeding population is on the verge of extinction. Similarly, the woolly-necked stork was once fairly common and widespread, but has almost completely disappeared. The black-necked stork is on the verge of extinction, while for the lesser adjutant, local people have reported that they still attempt to breed at one site and that young are stolen from the nest by villagers. Most pathetic of all, perhaps, is the story of Storm's stork in Thailand. The species was first recorded in the country in 1986 when a nest, the first known to science, was found in the Klong Seng Wildlife Sanctuary. Soon after the discovery, a villager stole the two young from the nest. And by the next breeding season, the lowland forest where the storks made their home had been flooded by a hydro dam scheme. No tract of similar forest remains and storm stork, probably the world's rarest member of the family, may never again nest in Thailand. The open bill's relative success is due in part to it being less fussy about habitats than the other storks. Rather than relying on wetlands, it can feed in dry paddy fields, digging snails from hard-baked mud, nor does it need large trees for nesting. Almost any vegetation from small trees upwards will evidently suffice. Also important is the open bill's tolerance of man and man's tolerance of the open bill, or more strictly, the tolerance and protection afforded by a few individuals. By 1955, Thailand had only one colony of open bill storks at Wat Pai Lom on the outskirts of Bangkok. Despite the monks trying to protect the birds by declaring their nesting grounds part of the temple and the species being given full legal protection in 1960, the colony continued to suffer persecution. Noted one report, poachers in the colony at night with slingshots accounted for several hundred adults in 1970 and almost broke up the colony. But partly thanks to the efforts of Thailand's pioneering conservationist, the late Dr. Boonsong Le Kagul, 1970 was also the year Wat Phai Lom was officially declared a sanctuary. The open bills responded well. There had been an estimated 4,000 birds in 1964. 16 years later, about 30,000 were counted. Though it is hard to assess such numbers, in 2023 there are far less than 30,000 storks in Wat Phai Lom. Indeed, there are no nests, but the open bills colony is found around Wat Phai Lom. I myself live near Rayong Botanical Garden, a wetland in Rayong. I decided to make this video about open bills after I watched many open bills foraging and nesting this year in these wetlands in Rayong. It is always a majestic sight to see these birds standing on the highest branch of a tree in the water.